everyone happy new year and welcome back to my channel i thought i'd start this year with a recipe because these seem to be really popular especially when i'm just sharing what i've had for lunch or dinner on my instagram story and so i thought i'd start off by showing you how i make my thai vegan chicken lettuce wraps that's the title i'm going with i'm actually using these beyond sausages instead of vegan chicken but you could use any type of vegan chicken that you want it's just what i have to hand so for this you need iceberg lettuce now i'm not the biggest fan of using iceberg just because i feel like it has no nutritional benefits but the leaves are really big and so i guess they're perfect for making lettuce wraps out of i'm actually prepping the filling the night before we're going to have this for lunch tomorrow but i'm just doing it now so that it's really quick and easy for me to assemble tomorrow and it just makes a great lunch because it's filling but also really light so for the filling you need rice vinegar honey now if you want to make it vegan you could use maple syrup i do have maple syrup at home i love this brand but i've never cooked with it before and i don't know if it will cook in the same way as regular maple syrup does so i don't want to risk it and like ruin this whole meal <laughs> so i'm just going to use honey but you don't have to you also need a few cloves of garlic either fresh ginger that's grated or ginger paste like i have a couple of spring onions a couple of red chilies lime coriander and orange juice or if you don't have any orange juice in the house just juice an orange because that's all i have to hand that's for the actual filling to assemble the wraps you obviously need the lettuce you can put in sliced cucumber bean sprouts carrot and red cabbage like i have here oh and i'm also going to throw in a handful of peanuts but i'm going to chop up all this veg now and just show you how i make the filling So I actually ended up using four cloves of garlic, two of my small bird's eye chilies and half of the bigger one because I do think this one's quite spicy even though it's a big chilli. I don't really measure things so I'm really sorry if my cooking style is super annoying because I can appreciate that. But now I'm just going to juice my orange. But I guess I would say you need equal amounts of garlic and chilli. If you wanted to be really fancy you could have zested this and put this in too but I always forget to zest stuff so I hadn't done that. I'm also going to put all these bits in because I guess it just adds to the flavour. There, so that's my orange done. And then this is something I've never tried before, but I'm going to try and chop this up into like tiny pieces. I might need more sausages than this actually. And I have the Richmond vegan sausages, I think. So I'll just use those. You kind of just want it all. You probably don't even need to use a knife that sort of texture it's a bit like crumbling feta i'd say so i've got my frying pan on the cooker there i'm going to put on like a medium heat i'm just going to spray a little bit of sunflower oil you could use any oil just like five spritzes of oil and i'm going to go straight in with my onion not my onion my garlic and chili while that's sizzling i'm going to go in with the rice vinegar maybe two actually there then i'm going to add in all this honey okay so you kind of want about equal parts honey to rice vinegar and just leave this on sort of low to medium heat and just let it simmer you'll notice that it starts to reduce ever so slightly. Now, annoyingly, I don't think I have enough sausage, so I'm going to chop up two of these and do the same as I did with the rest and just add it to my mixture. Okay, this is cooked down quite a bit, as you can see. So I'm gonna go in with all this. How gross does this look? <laughs> Promise you it tastes good. Yuck. Just chop up any big chunks that you see here. You can turn the heat up now. I'm also gonna add in some salt, about half a teaspoon. And then I've chopped up the spring onion and the coriander. I'm gonna try and fish out some of the white bits just to cook those through. The green bits I'll leave towards the end. You don't have to be too precise with this, it's fine. I'm going to add about, about a teaspoonful of ginger paste. I'm 
At this stage, I'm going to add in all my orange juice. I've just roughly chopped up a handful of peanuts. I'm going to throw those in now. I'm also going to go in with the coriander and the rest of the spring onions. There we go, I've just turned the heat off. And that is literally the mixture done. It's the next day, and as you can see, I've very finely chopped up some carrots, cucumber, and some red cabbage. I've put that in a pot ready to serve. There's some bean sprouts here. I've even chopped up a little bit of chili from the one I had left over. Jas will probably have that on his lettuce wraps. I won't. So I actually tried a teaspoon of this once it had cooled down yesterday, and oh my God, is it incredible. I am so glad I decided to film this, because I'll be honest, I was just winging it. Like, I wing pretty much like 80% of what I cook. I don't really follow recipes. I just chuck stuff in and hope for the best. And this was really good. And I also think it was a really good shout to use the vegan sausages because when you use vegan chicken, like corn chicken or any other type of like fake chicken, it isn't marinated in anything and it doesn't really have a lot of flavour. Whereas I feel like this already had the flavour and then we've added a ton of stuff to it to make it even more flavourful. It has a little bit of kick to it with the chilli which I think is great and you can also taste the orange like really subtly. It wasn't too little so I'm really happy with how it turned out. But now it's lunchtime and we're going to dig in so I'll show you how we assemble it first. I've just put about three tablespoons or so of mixture in, a little bit of chilli, a little bit of cucumber, carrot, red cabbage, put it in the lettuce wrap and you literally just roll it up and eat it. So any which way, depending on how big your lettuce is and how you've cut it, just roll it up. And if you want to, ah, there you go. This is delicious. It's as easy as that. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments about what you'd like to see more of this year. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.